Hey, my name's Colton Calloway. I graduated from BRCC in the E-Tech program in 2007, and I recently completed my own independent film called The Climb to Katahdin that will be having its next screening uh, August 23rd at the Baton Rouge Gallery. One of the biggest things that comes out of a film school is the connections you make. If it wasn't for some of the people that I met in the E-Tech program here at BRCC, uh, I don't think this film would have turned out quite the same. Uh, their, their opinions matter very much to me and several times they sat behind me and told me what, uh, what should be in there and what shouldn't. So um, once, I, once I knew that it was good enough for some of them because they're harsh critics for a lot of films, once they gave me the okay on certain scenes, that was it. Uh, you know, I knew that I hit the spot that I wanted and, and, and uh, the, the general public uh, seem to agree with that. So the connections I made uh, at Baton Rouge Community College uh, and the film group there is just really outstanding. And, and again, my, I don't think my future would have been the same without them. The first screening of The Climb of Katahdin was at the Manship Theater, and that was July 25th. It had a, uh, an amazing turnout. It was actually overly sold out by about 45 seats, um, completely packed out the house, and uh, become a little bit of a, I guess, a local celebrity. I've been getting called out um, by several people from just about anywhere I go saying they caught the film and that they were really excited about it and, uh, and how much it meant to them. Um, so I'm really excited about um, you know, sharing the inspiration. Uh, a lot of people seem to, uh, seem to hit the right spot for a lot of people. The August 23rd screening will be uh, at 8 p.m. on a Friday evening at Baton Rouge Gallery uh, at 1515 Dalrymple. Uh, and it will be a movie on the lawn. They'll actually have a big inflatable projector uh, and they'll be screening it outside, which is where it was meant to be shown, um, have a big PA, and then they'll have people all over the lawn sitting there uh, around the, the projector and, uh, or the, the projection screen and enjoying it outside underneath the stars. There was a combination of things uh, that went into play for wanting to make this film. I knew at some point if I was going to make a film, I, I had always wanted to do it by myself. Uh, I always realized whenever I worked in groups, if, if they missed something, uh, it was also my problem. So I knew if I went out and shot it myself, if there was something that I missed, I could only be upset with myself. And I've always been into the idea of, of completely independent. Uh, Robert Rodriguez was a huge inspiration of mine. Uh, the book Rebel Without a Crew um, offered a lot of insight as to what it takes to just do it on your own. And uh, sometimes you'll have a lot of success that way, sometimes you won't. Um, I'm fortunate enough that the subject matter about this film is something that a lot of people can uh, you know, get a grasp on and really appreciate because it took a lot of hard work and you can see it visually on the screen. You know, We hiked over 1,700 miles with more gear than anybody else and that's because of the camera gear. Not to mention trying to keep a live journal the entire time to, to show people eventually. You know, you've got that mindset of of hiking, I'm tired and I'm sweaty, but you're also keeping in mind that you're making a movie while, while you're doing it. So, uh, you know, the inspiration from actual hiking, it was a dream for about a year and then it just became a lot of preparation. Uh, you know, once we had it in our mind that that's what we were gonna do, then it turned into, well, I wanna make a movie out of it because there's not a lot of other movies on it. Uh, none that I liked very much. So I saw the fact that there's something there that hasn't been done um, and I tried to fill that little niche, and that's, that's really how it all came about. There were no other films about a girlfriend, a guy, and a dog hiking the Appalachian Trail. It just didn't exist, so, um, but that's what I wanted to know about, and surely there's other people wanting to know about it too if I wanted to know about it, so I did what, uh, what I've been taught to do, which is go out there and do it myself, so. Uh, sure, I would have liked to have had an entire film crew with me, but I wasn't so lucky, you can't, can't convince everybody to go uh, hike thousands of miles with you and just follow you around, so. Well, I hope to go on some sort of tour uh, and really try to hit the main spots, uh, mainly in the Appalachian Mountains as it applies to them the most, um, where there's already kind of a pre-market there and hopefully it'll get noticed from there and slowly start expanding out. You know, it's got something for everybody in between a romance story, uh, something for dogs. If you like dogs, you'll like the film. Um, but you start at your key audience and you start working your way out. So, uh, you know, I, I think after a couple of viewings, it'll get recognized and, and more people will want to pick it up. But, uh, you know, eventual distribution, DVDs, Blu-rays, ideally, because HD is, is the most, is what it's meant to be seen in. Uh, and fingers crossed, hopefully, Netflix Instant Play, because I know that's what everybody wants is, you know, 
Uh, is it on instant play? No, well then maybe I'll catch it one day. Is it on instant play? Yes. I'll go home and check it out right now. You look us up on Facebook and that's where most updates are. You know, if, if something is coming up big, it'll be on there. Uh, let people know, look, if you're into the outdoors at all, if you enjoy dogs, if you enjoy independent filmmaking, I will do my best to share everything with you. Uh, you know, I'm real passionate about this and it's something I talk about for hours. So, I mean, all the way from backpacks to the cameras to what it takes to set up your tent and the best, uh, the best gear to have. I mean, it's something that I would be more than happy to share with you. So if you come out there, I will give you more than just the time of day. I'll be more than happy to, to share anything, any information I have for you, any inspiration, you know, just, just come on out and, and it'll, it'll be worth your while.